What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I wanna show you how to pair your Xbox controller to your Windows 10 or 11 PC through Bluetooth. Um, we're also gonna go through a few troubleshooting steps to make sure that it's working properly if it doesn't wanna connect or if it disconnects at any point. So let's go ahead and start with the basics and turn it on. So we're gonna hold down the button until it starts blinking and it's gonna start slowly blinking to show you that it's not connected to anything. The next thing we wanna do is go into pairing mode and that is right up here on top. You're gonna to hold down the button until it starts flashing quickly. And that is in pairing mode. On your Windows machine, you're gonna go ahead and go into your Windows menu and search for Bluetooth. Once you're inside Bluetooth, you're gonna click on Add Device. If Bluetooth is off, you're gonna make sure to turn it on and then click on Add Device. Click on Bluetooth and it's gonna search for the device. It'll start by showing up as input and you can already click on it from then, but it'll eventually resolve to the full name of the controller. We'll click on that, and the device is ready to go. So it looks like um, everything is connected and ready to play. The controller will stay lit to show that it's connected, and the drivers will install one by one, and it will work in your games. You can also open up Steam at that point and configure the controller however you'd like um, for your Steam games, or you can use the Xbox Accessories app to configure the controller's buttons and mappings and dead zones and all that good stuff as well. If you'd like me to do a video on those specific settings, uh, please let me know in the comments below and I'll make one of those as well. Um, if your device disconnects, because this is a common issue with not just controllers, but most Bluetooth devices on Windows, um, if it doesn't want to connect, then you may have to repair, not repair, but pair the controller again. And the way that this usually works is it will lose connection at some point after a while or something, and we'll try and add the device again. But when we add it, um, it either doesn't find it here, or if it does find it, it won't actually let you add it because it already exists below. It'll say that there's an error trying to add it because technically it's already here. And it says that it's paired, but you can clearly see that it's in pairing mode and it's not paired right now. Um, and turning it off and on will sometimes reconnect it to the computer, but not always. So what you need to do is click on these three dots and remove the device completely. You may need to restart your computer if this doesn't remove. If it says there's an error or something, you may need to restart your computer and then remove it again and it'll be gone. Most of the time though, you can just click on that, remove, and it's gone. Then we'll just go through the process again. Click on add device, go to Bluetooth, turn it on, hold that top button down until it starts blinking quickly. And then we should see the controller pop up here. It'll say unknown at first, then input, and then it'll resolve to the controller name. You can see that it's still searching. Let's go ahead and choose the input. There it is, Xbox Elite Wireless Controller, and it's paired. So whenever it doesn't want to pair, remove it completely from your Bluetooth options, and it will forget the connection, and then pairing it again will hopefully successfully connect everything again. Um, if that still doesn't work and it doesn't want to work, you can actually remove the driver um, completely, restart your computer, and then have it reinstalled when it's um, when you restart. It'll automatically reinstall. The way you can do that is you go to um, your start menu, you right click, you go to device manager, and then you're going to look for the driver for your controller. So Let's see, where, where might it be? Uh, Bluetooth, Xbox Elite Wireless Controller, there it is. Um, if it doesn't get removed from here, you can go over here, right click, and actually uninstall the device, and that will remove it, and then you can restart your computer, connect it again, and it will hopefully work that time. Uh, but yeah, let me know if these worked for you, and if not, let me know what issues you're having, and I'll try and give you some more options on ways you can get it working. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.